couple of weeks ago, I wrote an article using Claude AI, and it's currently ranking number one on Google for that keyword. So in today's video, I'll be going over the exact process that I use to be able to leverage AI and write SEO optimized content that will actually rank on Google. So let's go ahead and get started. And as you can see, we're not just only ranking for that keyword, we're ranking for a variety of different keywords in this specific niche. And something that's noteworthy is that the keyword in which we're ranking number one for, it's not a low difficulty keyword. The keyword has a difficulty of 27. So even with the new website and using AI content, you can still rank for competitive keywords. So let's dive into exactly what I did to be able to rank for all of these keywords on a brand new website using AI. So the first and most important thing that I did was I primed the AI. So I told the AI exactly what you need to follow to be able to write SEO optimized content. And the way that I did this was um, I extracted some of the main SEO recommendations from different websites and different tips that you need to follow to rank for keywords. And I made that into one specific prompt. So you can find this prompt in my SEO masterclass prompt document. I'll leave that in the description below this video. So essentially what you need to do is just copy over the first prompt, head back over to Claude. And as you can see, the prompt will tell the AI that you're an expert blog post writer. You specialize in writing high quality, engaging SEO blog posts and articles. When writing, always follow the tips below. And then we have some SEO writing tips, some keyword research tips, um, some optimization of your title and meta description tips, how to write, how to structure your um, content, and so on. You can end the prompt by asking the AI, do you understand, yes or no? And it will say, yes, I understand your request. So once you've primed your AI, now it's time to generate your outline. And you just wanna go ahead and copy over the prompt for outline, head back over to Claude, and then we're going to paste it in here. And where it says insert keyword, this is where you're going to be inserting your target keyword or the topic of your blog post that you're trying to write about. So for example, let's say we were trying to target the keyword, how to improve email open rates. We would enter that keyword in there. And then this is the full prompt. Essentially the prompt just tells it to keep in mind how you um, structure the outline. Keep in mind your H1s, your H2s, and also uh, include variations of this keyword throughout the article. And I've also told it to write in a simple, easy to read human like tone. And I find that allows you to write, um, allows the AI to write in a much more simpler tone, which makes it a lot easier to read. So this is the outline that Claude is generating. We can see the title, we can see the H1, we can see the H2, H3, and so on. An additional step in which you can do to further SEO optimize your outline is to head over to Google and then you want to search up some of the top ranked blog posts for that specific keyword. So how to improve email open rates. And then what you'd want to do is head over to some of the top um, blog posts. And once you're on the website, you want to launch Harpa AI, which is a free Chrome extension. And this will allow you to be able to extract information from this website using AI. So I can tell Harpa to extract me the outline for this blog post. So I've told it to extract the main outlines, the H1s, the H2s, H3s, and H4 for this blog post. So as we can see here, um, it's been able to extract that information. And then what I can do is I can then copy over this information and I can repeat this for a couple of other blog posts that are ranking for um, that keyword. Copy over those outlines, head back over to Claude, and I can combine the outlines that I um, got from the top ranked blog post with the outline that I just generated from Claude. And this works really well because now you're getting some recommendations from the top ranked blog posts and you're combining that with some unique outlines that you got back from Claude. So that allows you to have a very comprehensive SEO optimized blog post outline but again that is a optional um, step in which you can do sometimes i find that the outlines will be much better when you combine it but but for this output we got a pretty good outline that we can use but again if you wanted to you can add that step in to further optimize your outlines so once you've generated your outline now it's time to generate the full article so we have the prompt here for full article just copy that over head over to claude paste that in and just go ahead and click enter. So most of the heavy lifting has already been done because you have good prompts. So all you have to do is follow that process and you'll be able to write a SEO optimized article that will rank a Google as you saw from the, um, the keywords in which I'm ranking for. You definitely can rank on Google using AI. I've done it many times and that is the main question that I always get back. But again, you can't just tell the AI to write you an article about how to improve your email open rates and expect that to rank on Google. You need to prime the AI, you need to 
um, generate the outlines separately and even combining that with other um, top ranking outlines. And then when you're generating the full content, I find that when you generate section by section, so I've told it to generate the intro, then the um, the second section and the third section and so on of the article, I find that you're able to get much more in-depth content, which allows you to rank because it's, it's much more engaging and it satisfies the searcher's intent. So if the, if the AI stops, just go ahead and tell it to continue and it will continue writing the full article. So this is the full article that we got back from Claude. As you can see, it's very in-depth, very well formatted, and it gives a lot of actionable tips about the blog post topic that we're writing about. Okay, so this is the full article. When it's converted, it seems to be about 1,500 words. Let's go ahead and see exactly how much it is. So it's about 1,595 words, which is not bad. I think that's a fairly good length. If you wanted to expand this article, you can always go ahead and take a look at the last prompt, which allows you to expand the article, but it keeps the same style of writing, but it will allow you to get a lot more content. So if you wanted to, you can always go ahead and copy over that prompt and paste it into Claude and tell it to expand the article so it's much longer. I've also went ahead and ran the blog post through originality.ai, and as you can see, it is 93% original and only 7% AI detected. And that's one of the main benefits of using Claude is that your content will be less likely to be detected as AI written. So if you follow this process, not only are you getting SEO optimized content, you're also getting content that is more original and less likely to be detected as AI, which is always, always good for future proofing your blog post. In terms of plagiarism, it is zero. And for readability, it is 56, which is also a pretty high score. So that means it's very easy for users to read your blog post. I've also went ahead and pasted the content into New End Writer to see what the content optimization score is. And we got a score of 59, which is not bad. And of course, you can improve it through manual optimization of your terms in header and your terms in article, and also by maybe even adding in some other outlines from your top ranked blog posts um, so that you're really um, covering all of your bases and including all of the information that your competitors are also including within within this article. We probably could have got a higher score off the bat if we were able to take more um, of the outlines from our top competitors and combine that with what we got back from Claude. But again, this is not bad um, by any means, just without doing any further optimizations to be able to get a 59 on New End Writer. So that's the process that I use to be able to write more SEO optimized content that will rank on Google, especially for a newer website or a newer blog. You definitely can rank on Google as you saw earlier in the video, I showed you exactly how to do so. And I've seen multiple, multiple examples of people ranking on Google using AI content writers. But again, you have to do it a little bit differently, but once you do so, you can be confident that your content will rank and you'll start to grow your website. If you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.